Today's episode is part of a complete breakfast. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. I love cereal. You know this. I would go so far as to say cereal is my love language. Cheerio, honey nut. You wanna Captain Crunch my Lucky Charms with your alphabets until I corn pop. Please don't ruin cereal for me or for anybody else. Sorry. Right. We've been enjoying cereal, some more than others apparently, for roughly 40 years. Sheesh. But how well do we know when these cereals were invented? It's time for Year I with Two Straight Guys, Cereal Edition. Welcome to the Shuffle Zone. In each round, we're gonna be given a cereal, yes. So we're gonna taste it, and then we're going to indicate what decade we think that the cereal was created in by shuffle, shuffle, shuffling. Yes, and whoever is closest to the actual year wins the round. The loser of the game will have to pour cereal down their pants. Woo! A classic Cheerios. Cheerios without the honey nut. It definitely tastes like something's missing. This is for babies, man. Yeah. I have to assume that Cheerios came before the Honey Nut version. Where are you going? What are you trying to do? You step in over here? Hey, you want to fight? What you want to do? I want to go first. I want to shuffle. I want to go first because last time I won, which well, means I get the disadvantage go. by going first. Because if Just you want to knock first. me off of there, you can. Just do it. Gets intense up in here, do doesn't it? Do it, man. It gets intense. Should we take shuffleboard seriously? Okay, right. now I got to think about when, it, when this happened. Um, if you were to ask me, Rhett, what's the oldest cereal? What's the oldest cereal? I'd be like, I don't know, Cheerios? Cheerios? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 1900 is the oldest. Mm, I don't know, something about 1920. It's like not all the way at 1900, which is our oldest decade. Is that how you use the term? 1920 is a little bit closer. All right, let's see the speed of the shuffle zone today. 1920, here we go. Oh, oh he's done it. I, oh, nope. I gotta say, I feel like I hit something on the board. So you, you, is there a little cheer? I hit a little something right there. I mean, I'm not gonna. Okay, okay. Call okay. the judges. Let's see. So you're right in between 1900 and 1920. I got, I got to just knock you away from that zone. Oh come because, on, man! Why are you gonna knock me out? Because Brett, that's the game. Okay. I gotta knock you into that back right corner because I want to be where you are, man. All right. Well, let's see about that. Whoa, look at that Cheerios going everywhere. Okay, well. And I, I did not I, land where I wanted. I don't know exactly what you accomplished, but uh, we're gonna find out. Before they were called Cheerios, they were known as Cheery Oats. Okay. And Cheery Oats were introduced in 1941. Oh. Oh, you're, that's you. You're, ne you're, close you're very close. But I think maybe some of my Cheerios are in the square. Stevie, does it count if I got Cheerios in the square? It does not. Dang it! Okay, we determined this to be the best cereal ever. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Mmm. So much sugar. It's so much better than plain Cheerios, man. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna eat this whole bowl before we start playing. And you will start playing because you just took the lead, sucker. Mmm. Man, it's so good. Oh, my God. Okay. I may finish the bowl. Warning. Now, when was Cinnamon Toast? Invented, because that wasn't around forever. I think that happened in like 1950. Okay. Sprinkle a little cinnamon, because when was cinnamon invented? I think like 1890 cinnamon was invented. <laughs> cinnamon Toast Crunch definitely has a 80s vibe in my brain. Okay, so you're going for 80. Could be 70, 1970. Yeah, I'm gonna go for 80, man. Nice and easy. That's too aggressively. <laughs> I, Chase, I told you not to put so much dirt on the board. Man, that was too aggressive. So, so right from the right from the beginning, right from the beginning. So it much was too much fidelity to this. Uh, you know what, Link? I like the way you think. I don't like the way you uh, you slide your whistle. <laughs> what is what is what is this? I mean, you have run of the board. If you lose this round, then I'm you just suck. a sucker. But pride should dictate that you should try to be accurate. Hold on, but you, listen, you're not that far from 1960. We know it's not 1940 or 1990. Basically, I need to be on this side of you. I think that it's 1970 because 
this never really works, but the logic I usually apply to this game is if I remember it from a decade, it must have come from before that decade. So I think 1970 is good, but- Can you hit 1970? No, because it might be 1960 and then you'd win. So 1960 is what I'm going for. So you, so you went real aggressive too. Oh, I gosh. like that. <laughs> oh man. All right, see, I yeah. told you. Yeah. It's a fast board today. It's a today. fast board today. So fast it looks board. like I just Googled this and the term cinnamon sugar as in cinnamon sugar toast uh, oh, was first coined in like 1890. Oh. But cinnamon toast crunch was introduced in 1984. Oh man. Mm. I'm a little bit closer. I was right in my brain, you were right on the board. We've got a podcast, it's called Ear Biscuits. We don't just record the audio, we record the video. There's a YouTube channel and it's available wherever you get your audio podcast. Check it out. It gets real. Uh, Corn, Corn flakes. flakes. These are really not my favorite. When was the last time you had them? It's been, I had them at like a hotel. I'll tell you the one thing I haven't done is I haven't had them right after eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think I've only had these at a hotel. Like when you go down to the Motel 6. Little Continental. And they're out of everything, except cornflakes. And you get one of those little boxes of it. I kind of like it. The crunch is nice. The taste, would you call it corny? It's better than Cheerios. All right, you're up first. Mm. Okay, Link. I know a thing or two about cornflakes. Hmm, seems old. I'm saying this, and this is totally historical and scientific. Mr. Kellogg, invented cornflakes to stop people from masturbating. No comment. <laughs> it's true. Too many people were doing it, and, the, and he was like, I think cornflakes will make them stop masturbating. I took the tack of not talking in hopes that you would just move on, and it seems like that was the wrong strategy. Um, when was it frowned upon to the point that they thought they had to make cereal make it go away? And when would they have thought that was even possible? It's either the 1900s or the 1920s. So I'm gonna land on 1900 and hope for the best. Gentle stroke. Okay. You, you made a good correction there with the speed of the, of the board today. You know what? Mm. I, I'm gonna go around you, but only slightly, because I think the answer is 1900. But it also keeps 1920 in play for me. I'm gonna eat as many of these as I can. Oh yeah, your wife's out of town. Okay. <laughs> How do I do this? I, I gotta, I can't get too excited. I've gotta just relax. Just relax. <laughs> ah! I get so frustrated! Hey, hey, hey! I need to have some sort of release! I got something that will make you release. It's called cornflakes. Ah! <laughs> Let me punch the cornflakes. Ah! I feel better now. Wow. Maybe that's how they stop masturbation. Okay. Cornflakes was the first cereal to feature a prize inside the box shortly after they were first introduced to the public in 1906. Wow, 1906, I'm very close to that. You almost didn't get past the line. <laughs> the board is just screwing with it. <laughs> Again, I'm, we're gonna be talking about how there's not enough sugar in this one. Rice but crispy. these have a much more fun texture. And sound. I mean, the marketing on this is great. This I like rice crispies, the pop. I definitely like this over the corn flakes. If I'm giving up the sugar. There's more sugar than you realize. Four grams. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Again, you, when you're playing this game, the first question you gotta ask yourself is when was rice invented? Well before any of these dates. When was the idea of crispy invented though? Crispy is pretty recent. Things were soggy for many years. <laughs> um, these have sort of a, I think they got a 1950 feel. Oh yeah? Snap, crackle, pop, man. Snap, crackle, sock, hop. See, that seems like it's gonna be short. Is that where you wanted it? You saved 1950? I said 1950, right on the top of the pyramid. All right. I, I think this is before 1950. I can see in my mind Vintage ads for Snap, Crackle, and Pop. So I think this is 1920, because 1900 has been taken. Was, I'm in the same position I was last time. I don't want to bonk you. How about you just land right around here, or around this line? Shut up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go to 19, 
the corner in 1970. So I can split the difference between 30 and 20. All right. Do your worst. Already done that. I'm gonna do better now. I'm gonna bank off the back and then I'm gonna land right in the middle of the board. Come on, not quite. 1920, 1920. Okay, shoot. The that was it. The cereal kept the momentum going that way, so it didn't get as clean of a bounce. It was an educated, I'm getting a little better. Okay, so if Rice Krispies are cooked with a steam method that creates air pockets inside, so when cold milk hits the cereal, the kernels break, causing them to crackle and pop, and they've been crackling and popping since they were first introduced in 1928. Ugh. Yes! The snap, crackle, and pop gods have smiled upon me. Ah, we're tired. Okay, it all comes down to this, Captain Crunch. Yeah, it does. This is never, I didn't go to this too often. It's a dangerous cereal to eat. I mean, the captain wasn't lying about the crunch. It can really mess up the roof of your mouth. Okay. Got a good taste to it though. We're tired again. You can go first, but I won last time, so I think I have to. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Got you! But it doesn't matter, really, because I can't... I, I want to beat you fair and square. The gentleman's agreement is you can't hit another guy's bowl in the final round. Ah! Well, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Thanks for reminding me. Let's see. The captain probably came along in the 70s. In the 70s, they just loved talking about captains. I think that's when Captain Morgan came about, Captain Crunch, Captain Kangaroo. Captain Hook. Captain and Tennille. Captain Phillips. Captain Underpants. There's quite a few captains, and they're not all from the 70s as we just demonstrated. I'm gonna try to go for the middle of the board just to play it safe. My answer is 1970. Middle of the board, huh? Stop, 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 no whammies. Okay. All right, well, so you're on 1960, which I actually think that 60 is if I played this game for like three more hours, I might be able to put the puck where I want it. Well, you know what? What are you doing this afternoon? We could open up your schedule. <laughs> I don't want you to be here for me doing that. Oh, okay. I'm definitely in the 60s and 70s. Well, you have an opportunity. Here's take, the thing. To take 70s from you're me. You're on the 60s right now, and if you're right, well, you win. Yeah. But if I get on the 60s as well, I cover your answer, and then we would, in that event, we would tie. We've never had a tie. What happens then? What is the sudden death? I think you do closest to the black bumper in the back without hitting it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think 1960 is a great answer. It might be 1970. I'm trying to go on this side of go you. Go for 1960. But I cannot hit you. If I hit you, I disqualify myself. So you're going for 1960. But I'm not going to hit you. But you're not going to hit me, and which could set up a sudden death if we're both right. He's aiming up. Oh, that's way too hard. Ah! You touched me. That was, you didn't mean to. It's, we're good. Mm -hmm. Did you know that due to the number of stripes on the captain's uniform, he's actually a commander? Oh. Captain Crunch, or should I say Commander Crunch, was first introduced in 1963. Yeah. Woo! I have done it. Okay. Brett, I gotta, you gotta put the crunch I gotta put down a captain in my pants. Let me unbuckle. You gotta put the captain on your commander. Or the commander on your captain. <laughs> okay, I don't like that you undid your belt. That makes it stranger. Leave it there for the rest of the day. <laughs> Let me zip back up. Okay, all right. I'll you be... unzipped? I had to, man. I got... When you wanna get the captain in your pants, you gotta unzip. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Maggie. And I'm Ryan. And we're from Geneseo, New York, but we're in Waimea Canyon in Hawaii. And it's time to spin the wheel we'll of mythicality. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful place. I once shed a tear while in a helicopter above it. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to Jurassic Park theme? Yes, yeah, yeah. Jurassic Park gives me every single I time. I know what's that. Click through to see us guess whether or not cereal mascots are real or fake. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Get yourself a limited edition signed copy of our New York Times bestselling novel, The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, now at mythical.com.